Hi and um, welcome to another Hangout on Air for Costa Women. Uh, this is me Fiona Catchfall here for you today and my special guest is wearing the Costa Blanca, it's Claire Ateo. Morning Claire. Good morning, how are you? Yes, not too bad. The, the child has just left the room, that was Kyra, my granddaughter. <laughs> she's four and a half so uh, she just decided that she's not going to be part of the Hangout after all now. So. <laughs> So what's the weather like up in the Costa Blanca? It's beautiful. There's a little bit of wind that's keeping it nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. And the skies are blue. It's fabulous. Yeah, it's looking very good here today as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out. To, apparently I've got to go in the piscina with Kyra and it's freezing. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit early for that. <laughs> So, um, you're a Costa Women member, this is a Costa Women Hangout. Tell me a little bit about yourself and when you first came across Costa Women. Right, I came across Costa Women. I've actually been here some time, but I only came across Costa Women um, in January of this year. Um, and I realised there wasn't a Costa Blanca North group. So, um, obviously, I've started that up and that's how I've kind of really got involved with everything here. So, And it's been fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of, you know, made me come out of my shell. Okay, that's interesting. And what do you do um, when you're not being a Costa woman? Right, I'm an, I'm an EFT practitioner, which is Emotional Freedom Technique. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that is something I actually started that, I got involved with that last year. So it's quite a new project still. Um, it, but it's it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't know. Do you know anything about EFT? I've heard a little bit about it. Um, I uh, there's a lady down here, Isabella, who does it as well. I think I know she does the tapping anyway and um, meditation. So tell us tell us a little bit about it in a nutshell, then, for anybody that might be interested. Right. It is a self help tool that is um, something you can you can actually learn quite quickly. It's fantastic with children. Um, because it means and basically it gives people what we call emotional intelligence um, it allows you to work through past traumas it allows you to work through things that you have phobias on it allows you to work through confidence issues if in public speaking for example I've been using it for public speaking because I realized when I started all this that actually um, even though I'd done quite a bit of public speaking, I'd always been in a uniform and that was my coat of armour, as it were. Okay. Um, and then all of a sudden, when I was enjoying Costa Blanca for Women, it was me and just me. Um, and it was quite a revelation for me to learn that I'm coming up to 50 and I'd never actually done anything on a public level as myself. Mm -hmm. So I've been using the tapping to do that and actually it's been fantastic i would never have done this three months ago <laughs> oh cool that's interesting so when you said a uniform what was that uh, your profession previously uh, i was a profession i was a registered nurse oh okay okay so it's something that almost like as an add-on to general you know medical assistance then but but more of a holistic approach it is yes Yes, yeah, because it uses psychology. So obviously, as a nurse, I, I, you know, I had quite a, 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 you know, a big psychological background. Um, and yes, it just kind of, it just kind of a, a, a step forward, but in a slightly different direction. Um, mm -hmm. So yes. So and are you great. offering this as a service now, as a skill? Um, I do. Yeah. Yes, yes. I work because um, we we call it um, coaching, because obviously it's not a treatment as such, like nursing. Mm -hmm. that we're getting nursing although you can actually treat some symptoms um but you have to be very careful with the legalities so we actually call it coaching mm -hmm. um and basically it teaches people to it helps them release because it's a combination of psychology and energy um and basically you have blockages within your systems um which can cause you to repeat patterns uh, mm -hmm. uh, behavior patterns can cause you to you know um, the best way of describing it, you know, when somebody says something to you and it's completely normal, but for some reason it sends the back of the, ha the hairs on the back of your neck stand on edge and you're thinking, oh, this is ridiculous, but you get that sensation inside. That's because the way the brain has stored a previous memory mm -hmm. um, and 
and you you what basically what you've actually done is you're processing that again there's something in what that person has said to you that has triggered, triggered. that old mm -hmm. memory so mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of getting rid of those things it's getting rid of all the emotions that are destructive and stopping you from moving forward basically which is why it's really good to teach children because if they can mm -hmm. learn to do that at a very long age they are going to mm -hmm. be super confident and cool. you know more productive in their lives so okay well do you have a website and um, we I can put the details on the video yes certainly it's www.eft eftcostablanca.com okay well i was going to we'll say punter com then <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> yeah aruba yeah you go i was like instead of saying at <laughs> things yeah. like that so how often do you manage to meet up with the other costa women ladies up there Right, well, we've been doing, I started, the actual first meeting was in April. We have been doing monthly meetings. Um, mm -hmm. But this month, we have been really, really fortunate that we've now got two permanent premises. So rather than kind of meeting in hotels and coffee shops and things, we've got uh, permanent premises um, for two different groups because we've actually split it because it's quite mm -hmm. a large area. So we've got a group that's now happening on a monthly basis down in Javier and another group, and we're going to have our first meeting on the 16th of this month for the Altea, La Lucia, and Albir, and all the, the surrounding mm -hmm. villages that end. So, because we, I don't know if you know the area, but there's a tunnel. So you've got kind of all the villages in Benidorm and Alicante one side, and then oh. you go through the tunnel and you've got Calpi and Javier and Moraira and everything the other side. And okay. it's, it's, it's a, it's a, People tend not to go through the tunnel unless they have to for work. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a really strange thing, but it's just the way it is here. So it's it's fantastic. We've now got the two premises. That's great. And do, do you do a, bit, a mix of uh, social and business like we do uh, down here on the Costel Sol? Yeah, what we actually say is it's a social coffee morning, but obviously if you run businesses, you can do some networking. What we always do is um, we try and have a speaker every month. Mm -hmm. um, so somebody from the group will actually have the ability to promote their business, but what they have to bring something to the group as a whole. It's not just a promotion. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So this, this coming month, for example, we've got a talk on... Um, what you want to achieve in the next six months, which is brilliant because we're kind of halfway through the year, so it's June. So it's what you want to achieve in the next six months and how can we all help each other so that we all achieve our goals. Absolutely. So. That sounds very supportive and it's the sort of thing, you know, obviously, you know, Ali has pioneered um, by creating customer in, in the first place. So um, what does um, the next few weeks hold for you then? Like, so you've got an event coming up very, very soon. And um, I was just looking at the time there, making sure we were all right for time. <laughs> <laughs> So have you been here a wee while then over in Spain and um, you've probably gone through lots of trials and tribulations. Can you share a top tip with anybody else thinking of moving here with their family or not? Research, research, research. Mm -hmm. um, coming out here for holidays, I'd actually, before I moved out here, I'd been coming out for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought I knew the culture I, I thought I I thought I knew it all um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually you don't until you actually yeah. live here you don't I mean I was really fortunate that I stepped straight into work that uh -huh. wasn't a problem I think that's the biggest thing if you need to work then really do your research make sure that if you're going to start up your own business that you you know research your market um, mm. and research the law because it's very yeah. very different very mm -hmm. different um, for example, back in England, I'm a registered nurse. Um, I do the EFT practitioner, but I'm also a, an aesthetic um, practitioner. Mm -hmm. I can practice aesthetics here, um, but it all has to be signed off by a doctor. I can't do it within my own right, whereas back in England, I can. Right, um, OK. So there's lots and lots of little differences that actually, until you get here, and if you haven't done your research into the mm -hmm. law, you don't actually know. So yeah. research, research, research is what, I, what is my tip. 
<laughs> okay, cool. Well, listen, I'm going to let you um, get off uh, and out into some of that lovely sunshine. Um, thank you for sharing your, your information about what you do and how you're helping lots of other ladies in Costa Buenca North. We'll put all the details underneath the video so um, people can just click on the links um, and, and find you and find out how they can join in with Costa Women and also find out how they can maybe learn more about EFT from, from you as a practitioner up there. Yeah, sure. Lovely. Thank you for having me. That's okay. Speak to you again soon, Claire. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.